request assistance. Take cover, a basic rule for survival against hostile fire. This officer advances warily, selecting possible cover as he moves. Now he is in position to return fire or pin down the suspect until help arrives, with minimum exposure to himself. Defensive firearms training, shooting for survival, normally follows basic instruction in single and double action revolver shooting. It stresses proper use of cover and the firing positions from behind it. One-on-one -on -one is a good method of defensive firearms instruction. The coach or instructor can correct stance or grip before the pupil continues. This is shooting for survival. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. Uh, stick around, I'm gonna go over this uh, handgun manual that was written by my father. I believe back in, uh, let's see, 1968. So maybe it'll continue to uh, help stop bad guys and uh, most of all, make people think about gun safety. So y'all stick around and uh, enjoy the video. number are killed by handguns at extremely close range, often before they can draw their own weapon. Close combat pistol courses meet this challenge by training shooters to fire at targets as close as three feet. fires a good pattern with a minimum of bodily exposure. Each firing range may set up its own course, but defensive firearms training objectives remain. Teaching the application of basic shooting techniques to confrontation situations. Failure to provide a firm base when shooting from cover makes for inaccurate shooting. Legs spread too wide provide a tempting target for an assailant. Now the shooter can fire safely from a steady rest, putting all his shots in the kill zone and using the barricade for maximum cover. This is shooting for survival. survival to knowing how ricochet shots may behave. The bouncing bullets that can kill a man even when he believes himself safe undercover 
behind this car or this one. In this demonstration, the instructor aims at a clay pigeon well in front of the car. The rifle shotgun slug does not leave the roadway like a rubber ball at the same angle that it hit. It has ricocheted almost parallel to the ground to pierce the target under and behind the car. Safety lies only in putting a solid object like the wheel or engine of the car between you and your assailant. Let's review this surprising effect again. While a rubber ball thrown to the ground would bounce upward at the same angle, a bullet ricochets almost parallel to the hard surface struck. With targets at ground level, the instructor aims at the silver tape, a good deal closer than the balloons. Think of one of these balloons as your head, and you may change your evaluation of safe cover from ricochets. maintains when a bullet ricochets from a hard vertical surface. The instructor has placed aiming points some distance from the balloon targets. Yourself taking cover around the corner, exposing yourself only minimally and momentarily. Would you be safe? Your assailant may even aim wide at the corner, as we see here. But the ricocheting bullets almost parallel to the wall could kill you as easily as they burst these balloons. The lessons taught by these demonstrations might someday save your life. Attention units 54 and 55. We have a 1090 at the Alexandria National Bank, 800 South Washington. First unit on the scene, do not enter the bank until the backup unit arrives. 10-4. This is unit 54 responding. educational for some and if you like what you see you want to see more you want to support our channel do so by hitting the like and sub button thanks for tuning in to foster's farming garage on youtube peace out